Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you in a very simplistic tutorial how to charge the PS5 DualSense wireless controller. Once again, this will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is the PS5 DualSense wireless controller, and it is super duper easy to charge. <clears throat> now the first thing that you want to do, and there are a few ways to charge it, but the first way that I'm going to show you, and the only way that I'm going to show you, is using a charging cable like this you can also use a charging dock but I don't have that so I'm not going to show you that and that's pretty straightforward because you pretty much seat it on the dock but with that being said if you have a charging cable like this that's all what I'm going to show you how to use okay so you want to locate the charging port when you're looking at the controller right here go to the top of it like that and right here on the top of it on the front I should say maybe the the top or the front depending on how you're looking at it but go from here up and around, and that's your charging port right there. It's a USB type C charging port, as far as I know. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna get a charging cable. Now, if you just got the DualSense wireless controller by itself like this, um, like I did, um, it's not gonna come with a charging cable. I have this one separate. I think this is for, I don't know, I think this is for an Android tablet that we have, um, that we use sometimes, my wife and I and the kids, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you, you probably have lots of these lying around, okay? Now, essentially, you're gonna get your yeah, that is USB type C. You're gonna get your USB type C, okay? One end of that is gonna plug in, which is the USB type C side, okay? One end of that is gonna plug in over here to the DualSense wireless controller, okay? Just like that. Now the good thing is that it can go in either way. It can go in that way, or you can flip it around, and it can go in this way. It's sort of a universal orientation, so no matter what way you sort of spin it, it can go in like that, or you can spin it around and it can go in like that. It's gonna go in either way. So that end is plugged into there, the next thing that you're going to do is get the other end, which it might be also USB type C. It might be a USB type, I think that's A. I want to say like a regular USB, but you're going to plug that into your power brick with the appropriate uh, port. Okay. So I'm going to plug this in over here. It doesn't go in, in that way. I'm going to flip it over. It goes in in this way over here. So I plugged it in. Now all that I have to do is take this over here and plug it into the wall outlet. Once I plug this into the wall outlet, then guess what? We're gonna be charging the controller. In addition, there's one other way, which is um, if you have a powered USB port, you can plug this into a powered USB port. So on your PS5, you can plug this in to either the front USB port or the USB port on the back. From what I've been reading, I don't have a PS5. I bought this to use for the future PS5 that I'm gonna get. If you know what I'm saying, when I get one in the future, um, just some, you know, some manifesting. But in addition, I got this to use with other devices because it can be connected to many other devices. Um, uh, from what I've been reading, the charging port on the back of the PS5 is more reliable for charging than the one on the front, but that's just what I've been reading. So that is how to charge the PS5 DualSense wireless controller, easy tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.